Missiles are massively important when it comes to modern warfare, and as the technology to make these destructive weapons develops, their involvement on the battlefield only becomes more crucial. Today, we're going to look at three of the most important missile types used in warfare and detail just why they're so explosive. The MGM-140 Army Tactical Missile System, also known as ATACMS, is a series of short-range, road-mobile, solid-propellant-fueled surface-to-surface ballistic missiles. They were developed in the U.S., and the missile first saw action during the 1991 Persian Gulf War. This ballistic missile has a cylindrical body with a slender profile that tapers towards a conical nose cone. The reason for this shape is that it gives it aerodynamic properties to reduce drag and allow for a fast, stable flight. The streamlined nose cone also houses the missile's guidance system and warhead. The shape of the nose cone is essential for keeping missile stability and ensuring accurate flight towards the target. The Attackums also has four tail fins located at the back of the missile. The fins give aerodynamic stability and control during flight, and this makes sure the missile remains on its intended trajectory. The Attackums uses a solid rocket motor for propulsion, which gives it a number of advantages over liquid-fueled equivalents. This missile system can be equipped with different types of warheads depending on mission requirements. The primary warhead types include unitary warheads and cluster munitions. The unitary warhead is for precise strikes against high-value hardened targets like enemy command and control centers, air defense systems, and infrastructure. Cluster munition warheads have multiple smaller submunitions or bomblets that are thrown over a target area upon reaching the right altitude. This type of warhead is used for attacking area targets like enemy troop concentrations, airfields, and supply depots, or engaging multiple targets within a target area. The Attackums missile uses a sophisticated guidance system that combines GPS and inertial navigation system or INS technologies to ensure accurate navigation and targeting. This combination enables the Attackums to accurately strike its intended target with minimal collateral damage. The receiver calculates the missile's position using signals received from multiple GPS satellites. The Inertial Navigation System is a self-contained navigation tool that uses accelerometers and gyroscopes to measure the missile's motion and orientation. It doesn't rely on external signals or information, making it immune to jamming or interference. Our next missile is the Taurus KEPD-350, a long-range air-to-surface missile developed and manufactured by Taurus Systems. This high-precision standoff guided missile system can get through dense air defense systems and destroy hard and deeply buried targets. The German Federal Office for Defense Technology and Procurement contracted Taurus Systems for the development of a high-precision standoff guided missile system in 1998. Successful tests on the image-assisted navigation system of the Taurus KEPD-350 were then conducted three years later. Taurus Systems conducted flight tests on the missile system in South Africa in November 2002. Series production of the Taurus missiles for the Luftwaffe began in 2004. The missile has been developed to attack targets like airbase facilities, bunkers, port facilities, command control and communication stations, ammunition storage facilities, bridges, ships and ports, and runways. The system is currently in service with the German and Spanish Air Forces. Two missiles can be simultaneously armed on the Tornado FA-18 and Eurofighter aircraft. The Taurus KEPD-350 missile system has an overall weight of 1,400 kilograms. Its length is 16.7 feet. It has a wingspan of 6.7 feet and a diameter of 3.5 feet. The missile is made of modular sections, which can be changed based on mission requirements. The Taurus is suitable for day and night and deployment in all weather. It has low observability and terrain masking features for survivability. The missile carries about 481 kilograms of inert multi-effect penetrator, highly sophisticated and target-optimized dual-stage warhead system for superior target penetration. The ignition system of the warhead is modeled on a programmable, intelligent, multi-purpose fuse. The blast and fragmentation capabilities reduce collateral damage to civil facilities near the target. The standoff and precision capabilities of the missile and its deployment range of more than 350 kilometers make sure the aircraft and crew operating the missile are kept safe. 
This system is powered by a Williams P8300 15 turbofan engine, which gives it a cruise speed of about Mach 0.6 to 0.95 at very low altitudes. The Taurus has a range of up to 500 kilometers, which is about 15% more than the ones propelled with JP-10 fuel. Navigation of the missile is controlled through a Tri-Tech navigation system. It uses data from an INS, GPS, terrain reference navigation, and infrared seeker-based image-based navigation sensors. This helps the missile take on long distances without needing the GPS subsystem. On board, it also has an integrated mission planning system to determine its flight path. Next is the JASM missile. This stands for Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile. It is a conventional, stealthy, air-launched ground attack cruise missile designed for the U.S. Air Force and international partners. An extended range version, JASM ER, was developed alongside the standard variant. The standard version of the missile has a range of 370 kilometers, whereas the JASM ER has a range of approximately 1,000 kilometers. They look almost identical but the main difference lies in a larger internal fuel tank and a more efficient turbofan engine. The airframe itself is similar to the Taurus we've looked at earlier, although more rounded and fluid. Before the missile is launched, its fins and wings are folded and then unfolded by small explosive charges after its release. Both versions of the weapon measure 4.2 meters long, 0.55 meters in diameter, 0.45 meters in height, 2.7 meters in extended wingspan and have a launch weight of 1,023 kilograms. The JASM carries a 432 kilogram class WDU 42B penetration and blast fragmentation type warhead. The standard variant is powered by a turbo jet engine, while the extended range version is powered by a turbo fan engine. The missile is guided by INS GPS unit, but also an infrared seeker for guidance to its target. It also incorporates three-dimensional targeting models of the intended targets, of which eight can be stored in each missile. According to the U.S. Air Force, the missile is accurate to within three meters. The B-1B is considered to be the primary launcher as it is capable of carrying up to 24 missiles. Fighter aircraft are able to carry one missile under each wing, although the Air Force has been known to have loaded an F-15E with five JASMs. Its warhead is designed with a dense metal case or contains dense metal ballast for maximum penetration. It's installed with a hard target smart fuse, which differentiates between the earth, concrete, rock, and air. The FMU-156B fuse used in the warhead of the JASM employs a 150-gram PBXN-9 booster. The USAF has already bought over 2,000 JASMs and plans to buy as many as 10,000. 